Hello, this is Munir from BGBG College of Pharmacy. Welcome to Pharmacology. I think most of you will learn about the basic principle of pharmacology. So today we are about to talk about the pharmacology of systemic medication. The drug will be in administered or ingested by various routes. They can go internally, which means through GI system. So we are talking either right now or in some cases rectally. Some rectal substratory has systemic actions. Some drug can be given topically. Maybe we are talking about lotions and creams and some of the contraceptive patches and patches that people use for heart medication. And another form of topical medication is inhaler, which is used for asthma and the third part and the third root are parenteral shock i am sub q and iv but also we got the sublingo and buccal medication because even when they goes in the mouth that don't go to gi system they are absorbed directly into the vascular under the tongue and the cheek Digestion, fast pass effect, dissolution. The drug, in order to get to GI system, has to be broken down, and that is what's called dissolution. And again, broken down into form that can be absorbed by the body. Also, by transformation occurs in the liver, where the drug is broken down into metabolites that can be used in the treatment in the body. Absorption. Metabolites occur into bloodstream and travel to the kidney and then eliminate it. Some of them to the tissue receptor where the treatment is begun. Receptors are structural on cells that tells cells to do something such as make hormone. Drug can be agonist or antagonist. Agonist bind to the receptor and thereby produce therapeutic effect. For example, bind to the receptor, say, Hi, would like to flow blood, make the blood pressure go up. Or antagonist bind to the receptor and block its action, preventing the cell from doing something specific. For example, hi, the blood pressure is too high. Stop what you are doing. So uh, we got the uh, elimination. Most of the drug eliminated in the kidney. Uh, distribution. Transport of drug through the blood. So we have some three points that affect the blood distribution or blood or the drug transformation transportation. We have the protein binding. Uh, second one is um, lipid solubility, and the third one is the circulation. So we are going to, ta to talk about the drug that already in the bloodstream. So we have the first, the first factor, protein binding. If drug is bound by protein, it is not available to treat the body. Lipid solubility. Cell membranes has high lipid concentration. So the drug in high lipid solubility pass more easy through the cell membranes. We got the third part, circulation. Medication depend on the circulation to get to the target tissue. Blood volume. Low blood volume can deliver the drug to the system. We got the vascular resistance and cardiac output. So, here I'm showing the summary of systemic drug. So, once the drug is administered, whether 
intrally or topically or parental. So if it is uh, administered internally, it go to GI system, then to the bloodstream, whether it go to uh, target tissue receptor site and uh, give the therapeutic effect, or goes to, uh, to store it or the kidney. Uh, in the same way, when it is taken by topical or parenteral, it goes to blood system, or it goes to the storage and uh, cannot be used, or to the kidney and get illuminated, or target tissue receptor site and get the therapeutic effect. Direct adverse reaction. That means the, the side of the, the side effect of the drug. An undesirable effect, the more minor side effect. Uh, therapeutic concentration. Just because some drug in the system doesn't mean it is enough to be therapeutic. The concentration of the drug in the blood should reach the serotonin level before you see the drug response. Onset of action, it takes a while to get to that concentration. Duration of action, the drug remains active in the body as long as its concentration remains above the therapeutic level in the body stream. Drug can be agonist or antagonist. Uh, 